Hello, my name is Tyler from Clubcart. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a print-ready business card file using CorelDRAW. So the first thing we want to do is create a new artboard. Let's go up to File New. And that's going to draw it out for us. I want to change the dimensions to 3.75 to 2.25. So that's the size of a business card file. It's a little bit bigger but includes our bleed, so that's all good. You can see here we got our bleed. This is uh, where all the background colors or images need to extend out to. Got our trim line where the cards are going to be cut, and then our critical margin where all the important text and artwork need to be inside that area, just to be sure nothing's trimmed off when cutting or too close to the edge. So let's set these guides up ourselves in the file so we can actually use them while we're, we're setting it up. So to do that you just click on the rulers and drag in, and then this should be an eighth of an inch from the edge don't see your rulers, you can just go up here to view, rulers, and that'll turn them on. So those are our trim lines. And these next ones we're setting up here, these are our critical lines. And these ones are an eighth of an inch from the trim line as well. So there we go, we got our guide set up. Uh, now we can start adding our content. I've got something set up here, so I'm just going to drop it in. Okay, so here's my design. Uh, well you notice here that everything that goes over the edge of the card extends right out to the bleed, and then all our logos and text and stuff are inside the critical areas. So now let's save our file. Go to File, Save As. We're going to make sure it's in the right spot. Here, let's call that B card. So right now we're saving our editable version. So that's if we need to go back in and edit this text, we can go in and make changes. Um, but that doesn't work for the printer. We want to make sure we outline our fonts. Um, so let's create a new file to send to the printers. Uh, the first thing we want to do is outline our text. Um, so right now this text is editable. So if the printer doesn't have the same font, then it's going to shift and change. So we need to make sure we outline those. So to do that, we need to select all text. So you can either hit T, or you can go up here to edit, select all, text. And that'll select all the text there. Then the next thing to do is you want to right click on that and go convert to curves. And what that's going to do is change it from an actual editable font to shapes. So now it's not going to shift. If the printer doesn't have the same printer or same fonts, so then it's all good. So now let's uh, save this as a PDF. So go up to file, publish to PDF. And here we're going to save it, add print to our file name, so we know it's the, the print file. And then go down here to settings, we'll double check our settings. So here, I want to go through all these and make sure the settings are correct. Um, color, you want to make sure it's set on CMYK. And under objects, you want to make sure that the compression is none. And then that's good no issues, so that's all good, so we hit OK. You notice down here it says custom, custom settings, and B card print, so that's all good, so let's hit save, and that's going to save our PDF. So now you can see here we've got our editable B card file, and we've got our print file to send to the press, and so if you ever need to go changes, make changes to the text, you can go in here and, and adjust that. So I hope that's been helpful, uh, learning how to set up a business card using CorelDRAW. Uh, check back at Club Card TV for more how-to videos and other tips on printing. Thanks for watching.